It's hard to believe that the Latin American Youth Center has been around for almost 40 years. Having said that, it's been a journey, but its goal and its commitment to youth and family and community has never really changed. What started out as a small grassroots, real elbow grease volunteer effort of young people and parents and young adults Today has grown into a large, multi-service, multi-state organization, but still offering many of the same things, employment, job training, social services, education program, but most importantly, a place for young people to gather and to grow up and to receive the support that they need from peers and mentors and adults and teachers and other young people to sort of guide them through their youthful years and get to the other side of that and be happy, healthy, protective citizens of our region. The Youth Center's real story is really the story of our young people. And what you're about to see will give you an example of the hundreds of young people who have walked through our doors and the most special stories that they will share with you about their experiences over the years as a Latin American Youth Center. Each young person brings their unique um, experience, their unique uh, philosophy, their unique understanding of the young people, but mostly we're just so proud of each of every one of them. As you meet them, think about the many more who walk through our doors. Your support can make great things happen for all of them. I'm Vanessa Vitron. I go to Bell Multicultural High School. I'm 17. I've been going to Latin American Youth Center for about six or seven years now. The only program I'm in right now is Upper Bound, and it's kind of like a, a college bound program basically where we kind of experience and get firsthand of how it is to be a college student. We get to talk about financial aid, we get to talk about campus life, different scholarships out there, like just basically get a feel of how college would be like if we were going there now. Personally, doing these programs has, has helped me grow a lot. I have a lot of problems at home and coming to the Latin American Youth Center has really opened doors for me. I've met lifelong friends here. I mean, I have some of my best friends like that are in the same programs that I am. Like, I can't see myself, you know, not knowing them. They've been there, you know? <laughs> They've been like a backbone. There have been times when, you know, I didn't think I could make it. Um, and, um, they're like family, you know? They, they support you in everything that you do. Like I said, I've met some of the lifelong people here and they changed my life drastically. And I, I, I love LAYC. <laughs> my name is Avery Savage. I'm 23 years of age. Um, I've been a part of Latin American Youth Center for three months now. Started off at job readiness training, uh, which is, um, getting myself together for preparing for jobs in the workforce environment. I'm the Hall Monitor Teacher Aide for the Summer Youth Employment Program for LAYC. Um, I help all, all the teachers with their errands that will be ran, um, faxing, delivering papers anywhere from the first floor to the fourth floor. I make sure all the students are in their classes, um, going to where they need to go to, not only running the hallways and taking advantage of the opportunity that they're given before I came to LAYC. My life was up and down. I had trials and tribulations that caused me not to complete school. LAYC did provide a second chance for me. Um, they gave me belief in myself and not looking at me as just another person on the street or a young brother that doing this, that, and the third. They looked at me as a human being trying to better himself. Not no religion or race, or because I acted out this way or that way. They looked at me as somebody trying to better themselves and do better with themselves. And they seen it in me. And taking from what I've presented to them and what they can give to me, they helped me out. Coming here helped me see a lot of things that I kind of like bypassed as growing up. 
Hi, my name is Nelson Quintanilla. I am 21 years old and I've been a part of the LOIC for seven years. I immigrated to the United States around 12 years ago. It was my first time meeting my mom since I was two, so I was very excited. So um, at the time, you know, I had a lot of great expectations, but the expectations did not go quite as well as I expected because, you know, we have family issues and it turned out that, you know, later on in my lifetime, I will be in foster care. And that's when I really got involved in, with the LOIC. When I was in foster care, they put me in counseling. And when I was in counseling, I wasn't a lot, you know, into the counselors. And because when counselors just expect you to open up, and I wasn't that type of guy. I was, you know, you gotta earn my trust. I can't just open up to you. I eventually became comfortable in talking to my problems. So as my comfort level rose, I eventually, you know, started opening up and all my anger and frustration started to come out. And that relieved me a lot. It took a lot of stress, a lot of pain away from me. Like the LOIC had another thing to give me besides this counseling, which was, you know, a place to have fun and a place to, you know, meet and greet new friends. And when I graduated, I didn't have nowhere to go in the sense that I was jobless, you know, I just had a high school diploma. And they referred me to WISE. LOIC been a family in a sense that they have, you know, seen me grow, and right now that I'm in my vulnerable state because, you know, I'm kind of molding, I don't know which way I'm going to go with my career, they are kind of giving me insights as to, you know, this is what you will get if you're a business management major, this is what you'll get if you'll be an accountant and stuff like that, so it's just helping them out tremendously now as it did back then. I'm Jackie Reyes and this is my story at LOIC. My relationship with LAYC started in 1990. It was when I became pregnant when I was 15. So that was a very critical time in my life when I needed support, knowing that I was out by myself. I was disowned by my parents. And then I was literally just like basically gone on the streets, you know, and I felt that that was the only resource that I had to go to. And now you have in charge of a new life. I didn't even know how to cook, so that was one of the things that, uh, you know, they taught us how to take care of a baby, how to give them showers, you know, knowing that I was a baby raising a baby. So that was, that was a, a very critical problem that I impacted my life. When even you think that you're not, you don't have anywhere place to go, you know that you always count on these people. So when I come on board in, in 2000, I was like, this is my chance to give back to the community. I heard about a guy who was running for mayor, and then he offered me to come to be a part of his team. And that's how I became the coordinator for, to be a liaison between the community and the mayors. And one of the things about LAYC is, when they people come here with need, they don't see a black kid, they don't see a Latino kid, they see somebody on need. And that's what the LAYC is. They don't see that difference, you know? So we have somebody, we have an organization that recognizes people with needs, and they make sure that we get the services when we need them. Today we're working with over 4,000 young people in a year, and we're continuing to grow. So as we grow, we need to stay up to date with all the trends and the best youth development work and really trying to be best in class with what we do for young people in our region.